So you wanna try X Twitter ads for your business, but maybe don't know where to start. That's why I'm making this video to walk you through how to set up your X ad account in 2025. I'm Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links, been doing this marketing stuff for the last 10 years, helped over 2,500 brands. If you wanna learn a little bit more about me, you can check it out here, but these videos are straight to the point. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, the first thing you need to do on your X account is sign up for X Premium. Doesn't really matter which plan you choose, just choose any of them. And then from there, it takes about two to three days to get approved. Now, once you get approved on the X Plus, you're gonna go ahead and click on more, and then you can click on ads here. Now, I've already set up an account, a dummy account here, but first thing it's gonna ask you to do is go ahead and add your card details so they can charge you. It might take a few days for your ad account to get approved as well, just like the premium account. But once that's set up and your card is added, you'll see a screen like this. Now, if you want our full blueprint on setting up all the ads, go ahead and comment blueprint down below. Somebody from my team will send that full thing over to you. Now, you'll be able to see some things here like campaigns, creatives, and tools. I like to start on tools and always start on events manager. Once you're in the events manager, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and set up your pixel. This is where you need to track visitors that come to your website or purchase from your e-commerce store or just interact with your ads. I always recommend Google Tag Manager. If you don't use Google Tag Manager, you can add the pixel code in the head section of your site. So what you'll do is you'll click on add events. From here, you can go ahead and put your website in here and you're gonna go ahead and choose any of these. So what I like to do is just start with a page view so we can track that. And I don't like to track specific audiences that complete the event. That's gonna be something completely different. And I'm gonna define event with a code. And then I'm gonna say that I wanna be able to track all of these different variables here to make sure that I know that they gave me their email, their phone, or purchased something from the site. And then you can go ahead and copy this code. On our website builder, we use Duda, and you can add it in the head HTML section of your site. You can really use any plugin for this if you're using WordPress or another site. If you're using Shopify, you'll see how to add that in a minute. Now I do recommend always using install with Google Tag Manager. Once you have Google Tag Manager, all you need is the event ID, and then you're gonna need this Twitter pixel code that you're gonna see here, and that's all you'll need to use Google Tag Manager, which is what I recommend. Now from there, if you wanna make sure that this pixel's set up properly, I want you to install the X Pixel Helper Chrome extension, and I'm gonna include the link, the URL, in the description down below, so you can just copy this and you can follow the instructions to make sure that pixel is set up properly on your site. Once that's done, you'll be able to see that these statuses are active and it's tracking visitors properly. From there, I then like to go create audience and you can go ahead and create audience here. There's a couple different ways I like to do it. Lists, you could take your CRM or your email list and upload them. So then you can do retargeting ads and show them your ads. Website activity, you can choose to retarget people that visit your website with a Twitter ad. Now you will wanna make sure you have the cookies, allow cookies on there for certain countries and states like California. And then if you're an e-commerce Shopify site, you're gonna choose catalog activity and that will track everyone from your store. Now regarding that, you'll wanna go ahead and go to the Shopify app store and download the X. X. And then from there, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Shopify app store and download the X app plugin. And this will actually track all visitors, leads and purchases with the conversion value even in your X ads manager. For today, I'm just gonna choose website activity and go from there. From there, you can name it whatever you'd like. You're gonna use the X base pixel code as recommended, and you'll see all the options here for if a visitor lands on any page of your website or a specific page. Maybe you have a lead magnet that you wanna track only visitors from that to retarget to. But for today, we'll just do visitors of any page and that you acknowledge this. From there, you're gonna see the processing here. And once that's processed, you'll either see website audience is too small, or it'll say that it's live with some numbers here. Since this is a demo account, you won't see that. Now, you can also go to Shop Manager. Now, you can even do this even if you're not an e-commerce store. What you'll wanna do is create your catalog name. Then you're gonna to want to go ahead and create your products here. Now, if you're using Shopify, this will autofill and auto sync from the app plugin that we already installed on your Shopify store. If not, you can go ahead and add a product. And I usually like to choose manual ad. You'll also do the partner connection if you're using Shopify. From there, just call it TW for Twitter. And then the ID of your product, this could literally be anything. You wanna put in the product title, the product description, 
And what I'm going to do is actually show you one as an example here. So what we did is we just did TWX ads, and then we did our title, our description. We said that it's in stock and it's new and the URL to the link, the price and the image URL. Now, if you want full instructions on how to set this up, I'm going to link another video here that shows you actually how to set up these exact products on your profile. So what it looks like here is it'll be these buttons. And this is where we actually see the most people clicking if after they follow you on X. From there, a couple more places that you can go and compose tweets and schedule them out. You can upload posts and also media. You'll also be able to add editor audiences and go through these, but we actually don't use these that often. What we do is we just go and we create campaign. And I always suggest to skip simple and use advanced and then go from here. Now I'm going to recommend, I'm going to stop the video here because that's really all you need to get that account set up. And I'm going to recommend a playlist that you can join and watch the rest of our X videos where you can see which, how to set up these ads and how to set up these campaigns for best results. So I hope this video brought you value. Remember to check the description for those helpful links I mentioned and comment blueprints. So somebody from my team can send you the full blueprint on how to run X ads for your brand. And if this video brought you any value, give me a subscribe and I hope to see you on the next video.